down a bit. And 45. Okay, there we go. Turn it down a bit. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's good. Hello, cadets! I'm your beloved Commander D, and welcome to a new segment in the live streams. And today is a glorious day. Hold on, like, I realized what I did there, as I need to adjust something right quick, as I'm keeping an eye on everything. I really should be doing this in a separate window. Turn it to the profile. Pin. So people know that, hey, this is happening. Alright. Hello, everyone. Hello, Curly's. The silence of the lambs. <laughs> okay, let's begin. So... Yes, I went full Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> uh... And allow me to go heal. This one. Yeah. Gotta love Windows 11 sometimes. It's got all these handy little features. There we go. Alright. Here we go. So, welcome to the live streaming. I'm your beloved Commander D, and we're going over My Hero Academia. And the most misunderstood quirks. So in this live stream, we're going to be going over several My Hero Academia characters, and how their quirks, or their most misunderstood quirks, if used appropriately, could be used to help, well, man of the modern day. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to start off with one of the League of Villains' most infamous villains. I think y'all know her. A lot of people have a heart out for her. Mira Togota. And I'm going to be real... <laughs> My lady on Twitter slash X has got a whole banner of Mira Togata. And I'm doing this for her. I'm showing her some love and respect of her favorite character. Is why I'm doing this. So, Togata Himiko. Or Himiko Togata of My Hero Academia. Before we go into how her quirks misunderstood and how it could have been used in the modern day, we need to understand who is Toga Himiko. So, Himiko was a fair-skinned girl prone to blushing and was always frequently described as having a pretty face and a awkward tilting yellow eyes, silt-like iris, well that's the appearances. So we're just going to go over here. Birthday, August 7th. Age, 16. Um, so she's not in consent in, around the rest of the world. But in Japan, guess what? You marry her. Only under that of legal binding uh, marriage contract, though. Current age in the story, 17 at the time of demise. Gender, female. Uh, height, 7.5 centimeters, or 5.2 feet. Pretty big girl. Not gonna lie, for age 17. Wow. Light, dirty blonde. Eye color, going yellow, pork, France, warm. Status, 
alive. Uh, no, Stat is dead. If you didn't know the comics, she's dead. Um, unnamed parents, unnamed siblings, occupation, student formerly, villain, paranormal liberation front, the co-commander of the Carmine Regiment, affiliation League of Villains, Paranormal Liberation Front formerly, I mean formerly the League of Villains, Paranormal All Liberation Front, this is definitely going off the anime, not the manga. Uh, okay. Armed in melee combat. Now, if y'all don't know anything about Mira Togata's quirk, it's very simple, it's called Transform. Uh, the way it works is, uh, well, she needs to get her drink on. She drinks, uh, human blood. And she is able to transform herself into the person of blood she has drank. Now, in this regard, as well, I'm going to mention that Mira Togata is not necessarily the most mentally well-rounded person. And it's due to her upbringing in hero society. It's because of hero society that it ended up failing Mira Togata. I wish I had any better way to explain this. But her powers are very unique. It's due to her upbringing in hero society she became the way she was. But was she was taken care of? Was she was properly overall nurtured in a proper and loving environment where her uh, work could have manif manifested for a benefit? What kind of benefit? Could Mira Togat, uh, Miss Togata, Himiko, could have had a positive effect on hero society. It's very simple. Anybody familiar with spies? Or more than likely, the name's Boy. Jay. Now imagine if Mira Togata uh, was taught to be a Modern day spy for the heroes. And meaning that she could have become one of the greatest spies in hero history. It's because of this lack there of understanding of her uh, upbringing that it was her harsh upbringing. Her quirk wasn't properly, she wasn't properly nurtured and taught how to handle her quirk in a proper mannerism. Now also this falls into her, her, her lack of her understanding of what true love is. This also falls on the tutelage of Mira Togata. The teaching of Miss Togata wasn't there. She wasn't taught how to be a proper person. Her parents were horrified and terrified of her actions. I'm sure if the parents instead of just freak the fuck out instead of doing that, they're like, okay, honey, there is something special about you. It's not bad. But we need to figure out how this can overall be where you can be a good uh, girl or be a better girl. As they wanted her to be a good girl, but her personality is definitely unhinged. This is probably due to that of some mental deformity in her brain, especially with her emotions. 
I'm sure she was given proper medication, uh, or even that of how My Hero Academia's medical systems are far more advanced than compared to uh, other systems in the world. I'm pretty sure, if not entirely sure, Miss Mira Togata would have been a great benefit for Hero Society. As more likely they would have had medical surgeries due to quirks that can fix her mental oh, deformities in her brain. If her parents just obviously not panicked and made it where Mira Togata was a freak in their eyes instead of understanding that there was something wrong with her and how My Hero Academia's current day and age and their surgeries probably to fix her mental deformities could have overall benefited her well-being. Now, this well-being could have definitely overall been well better off. Her quirk has the potential of being the next greatest spy. She could have gone by the name's Togata. Mira Togata. Spy number 069. <laughs> I can definitely see her being Spy 69. Obviously, with her alluring presence, beautiful face, and under the proper medical care and um, surgical all nature, she could have become one of My Hero Academia's greatest spies. So let's go back and look at another character. As we're going to be looking at the villains and which ones could possibly have the uh, best overall ways to help modern society. Let's start off with Miss. Second, let's go with Mr. Compress. Oh boy, this guy. Now this guy has a quirk that can compress anything into a marble or a round shaped object. I am Hariyama, the great, the great great grandson of the bandit king. The blood flows through me. What's what? You say I barely notice me? All a part of an act. It's all that I for that of a tada moment. The true hat trick is saved until the end. Voila! Voila! The curtain rises in the final escape. Artist performance of Mr. Compress. So, Mr. Compress is an escape artist. I'm sure, overall, if somebody noticed in the modern day and age of Mr. Compress, he could have become the world's greatest escape artist or <clears throat> magician. He can become the world's greatest magic magician slash escape artist. But due to My Hero Academia and magic becoming something more of a passe form of entertainment, Mr. Compress's act would have fell, well, flat. So what else could he do? Well, first let's go over his profile. Sakato Hatsuyuro. Hatsuyuro. Okay. Sakato Hatsuyuro. Alias Mr. Compress. Age 31. Not bad. First appearance. 32. Pre time skip. Current age 40. Now that's prime husband material right there. Age 40, I'm not gonna lie. Gender, male. Awesome. Height, 1.8 centimeters or 5 
6-11 feet. So this means obviously he, um, wow, you are five inches below me, my man. Uh, hair color brown, eye color brown, quark compress. In prison, family, Hoji Hariyama, the greatest grandfather. Occupation, entertainer, reform, really, villain, paranormal liberation front, lieutenant of the commander of the Brown Regiment. Okay. Um, affiliations, team, close range support. So he's close range support, meaning obviously not bad. Manga debut, chapter 80, anime debut, episode 40, Japanese OVA. Kutsuka O Magume. English voice actor Kent Williams. Nice. So Mr. Compresses overall quirk is compressed. How could he could uh, benefit Hero Society or society in general, right? Let's go over that. So he can compress anything, even himself. He can even compress people's limbs and rob them of them. That's bad. But what could he have done with compress? Well, this falls under shipment, such as delivery of packages, um, or mass majority of packages. Imagine an entire, like, a, uh, I would have to say ocean liner of goods. All right, an entire ocean liner of goods. What could he have done with this, right? He could have compressed all that cargo into a, a miniature item for transport. This includes weapons, and obviously, Foodstuffs? Emergency supplies? Heck, even freaking toilet paper! His quirk has the potential of compressing a huge amount of items for transport. Are you freaking kidding me? And it's all because, well, he wanted to live up to be a escape artist a magician, but sadly due to his career choice of wanting to be a magician and magic becoming passe because of quirks, he became a villain. He could have become one of the greatest heroes of rescue efforts, compressing massive quantities of food, equipment, heck, even medical supplies. This guy could have been a huge overall effort in the medical or shipping fields for society. But the way society treated him and his need to be a magician, he wasn't given the chance to truly shine. And that's a crying shame. Let's see here. I would go over twice. But I'm gonna be real. I mean, like, cloning yourself is a good idea. But his clones are only temporary. And they can't technically be used. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I, I don't take that back. So, twice. Right? This guy's mentally unhinged. Uh, it's because of his severe loneliness. And being a shut-in. Much how a lot of people want VTubers to be total shut-ins and not have a life. Imagine if somebody that was a VTuber had the ability of twice. Right? And the internet and can find them to be a shut-in like this. Do you know the worst thing that could happen? You have something happen like twice. Twice could 
this uh, VTuber could become someone like twice if they had his ability. That's fucking horrifying. Imagine only talking to yourself and becoming more and more paranoid with each and every clone. I'm becoming more and more paranoid. Holy fucking shit, this is a Pippin Pip to the worst nightmare. If she has this power. So let's go over his character profile. Name Baba uh, Aga uh, Wara Jin. Alias Twice or Twice. -oo. I like that Twice. -oo. Twice. -oo, twice. -oo, twice. -oo. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. I like that Twice. -oo. Uh, birthday May 10th, age 31, male. Whoa, dude! You had a crush on Mira Togata, and you're 31. Dude, okay. I mean, the marriage thing is different in Japan, so they're located in the rising sun. I, I don't know what to tell you. You know, that's something. Um, I'm not against it. As a matter of fact, I quite accept it. You know, I'm okay with, like, obviously, as long as a country doesn't force their views on another, I'm okay with it. You know, a height 178 centimeters, uh, five foot ten. So you're below Mister, obviously, the um, compressed in height, dude. Honestly, get uh, the image of you being taller, though. Hair color blonde, eye color gray blue. Quirk Double. So, Double is able to mimic himself, right? Deceased, unnamed parents, deceased, paranormal, yada 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 yada. Um, long range support. I think that needs to be updated to, um, small army support. Or, uh, more likely, like, uh, mat, uh, like, multiple support, to be honest. Because claiming it's long range support, meaning obviously, like, he can attack from a far range, he really can't do that. He can create multiple, so, multiple close range support is what I would change this to. Uh, manga debut, chapter 77, episode 34, Japanese voice actor Daichi Endo, uh, English voice actor Newton Pittman. Ha! Pittman. I ain't gonna follow up on that. But Newton, Newton Pittman. Nice. Alright. There's no place for insane guys like me in society, but people and heroes like to say, yeah, they're always good and virtuous ones. Anyway, I finally accepted me and decided to make myself useful in the League of Villains because I want to be okay with being me. Dude, there is nothing okay but wanting to be you. But, um, what you went about it was unique. Oh wow, Japanese voice actor was in a movie. <laughs> okay. So this guy is capable of doubling himself. Now I can definitely see this being positive in the uh, science medical field, in some sort of way, or si the science field, and that, um, I don't know. If twice would have become, or twice would have become, that of someone that was a medical scientist, or like a scientist in general, like, imagine the small, or like, imagine the amount of scientists that twice could make to make things such as, I don't know, airplanes, um, cars, spaceships even? Heck, this guy could probably make an entire, like, overall, like, space station 
by himself if he's properly taught to be a scientist. Or like automotive industry, right? Or like like building industry. Imagine if twice would have been in the building industry. He himself could have been a freelance like architect. And as multiple copies he can make of himself, I I'm not gonna lie. That would be impressive as hell. He could be a one-man building crew with, uh, like, proper equipment? Holy freaking shit, dude! Here our society treated you wrong, or, like, people treated you wrong in general. I know how that feels. But at the same time, you could have benefited so much in modern society, in that society. You could have built an entire city from your clones, let alone, and probably in less than three months. You could have been a freelance architect. And like, you know, like obviously or a constructor. And run your own business and really make cities, buildings, skyscrapers, malls even. Oh my god. He could probably run an entire whole fucking mall. Oh my god. Twice had the greatest potential of all so far that we've covered. Of benefiting hero society or hero society in general. Oh, the potentials were endless with his quirk. He could have been a rich man. Just in business alone. Uh, let's see here. Needle hair. Material hair. Oh, let's look at material hair. She looks cute. Female, light brown, light brown, hair control, prison. Medium range villains. F rank. Villains recruited by the League of Villains, USK incident making my inner antagonist. Her hair control. A material hair that allows her to manipulate her ponytails and she's able to shape them into weapons such as drills against her opponent. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. So, if that hair can be hardened in such a way, like, in a hard material substance, with, like, a toughening quirk even, right? Like, if she had a companion that can toughen the overall, like, hair follicles to harder than steel, and she's able to transform her hair into things like... Oh, I don't know, like drills or hammers or stuff like that. Um, I could definitely see her obviously being a great help in construction. She could probably be even a fashion model. She could probably be like with Bayonetta and use her hair as freaking clothes if it was long enough. Darling! Oh, that is a tragedy right there. We all know Hawks, uh, Aoyang, uh, like, ooh, Bonker, Sea Villain Arrested, right? I wonder what his quirk is. Quirk Muddle. What is muddled? Muddled. Garn's quirk grants him the ability to cause minor amnesia to his targets, making him connect in his head, causing them memories the previous five minutes. In the next five minutes, he become vague. Okay. Well, I can definitely see this guy being a psychiatrist. Or like a hypno-psychiatrist, you know, right? I ain't like... Let's just say, alright, somebody had a tragic childhood event. 
And if his quirk would have manifested, more than likely the quirk would have been better off having people forget some of the most the horrific times in their lives and moving on as a like you would definitely be the greatest mental therapist of all time. My dude, I am so sorry. Your quirk had good potential for like mental health. Calgary. Uh, let's look at a big one, the doctor. I think it was quirkless though. Quirk. Duplicate, formerly original life force. Ooh, life force. He has the quirk life force. Let's check this one out. Quirk life force. Here we go. Kudai's quirk grants him extended lifespan and a youthful appearance for more than his true age. Although it appears fairly early. According to Yudokai and uh, Yotokai himself, he has lived for over 120 years. The side effect causes him um, to physically morbidly worsen. Morbidly worsen. So, like, it slows down his aging, but his mobility gets worse. The older he gets. I can definitely see his quirk being used to save lives. I mean, he's already a doctor. Just an evil doctor. Um. Holy shit. Probably my dude. I'm guessing age didn't help your mental health as well. We all know Kagiri is a combination of multiple people. Or like multiple quirks into a no-mo. Oh, but he's able to teleport people. Warp gate, right? So, Calgary, warp gate. Do you know how useful warp gate would have been? For modern society. Let alone scientific endeavors. Like this quirk of Calgary's here. Like, even though it's naturally not his and he's a high-end Nomu, let's just say even if he wasn't a high-end Nomu, right? If he was naturally born with this quirk of Warp Gate, it's probably a combination of multiple quirks. Uh, one of them is probably like Black Hole, where like he opens Black Hole energy. Next, I'm thinking some kind of like transport quirk for or, uh, like transporting it through. And then and obviously arranged quirk to open another black hole in another area or another wormhole in the area. So what we're looking at is a wormhole quirk, arranged quirk, a possible transportation quirk. All three quirks merged into one that is Warp Gate. What an interesting concept. So Warp Gate can definitely have been used for a warping, I don't know, like people across the universe, right? Like, he could have been used for universal exploration. Exploring the universe, teleporting, like, people from one planet to another. So let's just say he's at NASA, right? And they go, Calgary, like, uh, Kuroguri. We've noticed overall, like, 
there's this planet that possibly has, like, a way for human life to exist. You need to send a couple of agents or drones there for, obviously, exploration. Can you do this? And he would probably be like, sure, no problem. Uh, just give me the location so I'll know where to manifest the Wookiee from here to there. And they would give him the exact coordinates. He would also need to understand, like, galactic coordinates in the universe. You know, galactic time and place coordinates. And one place to another, boom the boom, we can talk about universal exploration through warp gate of finding other planets for human life to thrive and populate on. Like, holy crud, dude. Your power could have been used for where the most scientific overall greatest achievements of all time. Holy freaking shit! Yeah, he's deceased, by the way. Holy hell! Wild villains, volcano thieves, Team Reservoir Dogs, Intermouse Crew, Other On Villains, Johnny Bravo. I, I, I get a 1960 vibes from this guy. Like, these guys are definitely from the disco era. Kidnap researchers. Hemorrhize. Oh, I, I actually saw this movie in theaters. This I saw the abridged movie of. I always thought this chick was hot. Slice. Arrested, right? Look at this chick. Check her out, right? Hasasaki Kuroka. Kurihika. Ooh. Slice or sir or Sarasu. Sarasu. Ooh, that's a cute little nickname, Sarasu. Alright. On the start, female, 187 centimeters. Four that five, five foot four. Oh! Oh, she, she's got that adorable body. Oh, let's look at go. Red hair, yes please. Red heads are adorable. Blue eyes, blue eyes are very nice. Um, pork slice. Imprisoned, villain, long range, melee combat. Plus me. Like, let's check out her quirk slice. Quirk slice. Kira's quirk allows to move and harden her own hair as she's able to use her her hair as blades, as well as well as well as fire individually strands like needles. Kura Oka uh, can use her hair for defensive properties as well as mobility using long range locks as slits and her hair can be used as restraints for chemical properties and as modified they can be destroyed and conduct harmful materials such as acid. Oh, hair growth. Oh, she can automatically re hope grow her hair as well. That's that's actually bonus. Okay. Wow, this little lady. They gave you a bad hand, okay? Like I can see this woman being a fashion designer. Heck, even a big time cosplayer. She could have been the biggest cosplayer at conventions. She could have created cosplay outfits. 
that could have literally baffled the mind. She could have become um, a fashion designer. Heck, she can be something like in the, uh, like... Anything within, like, the, uh, worker industry, such as cutting steel girders, or stone slabs, or something like that. The potential with this little lady's hair is through the roof. She could have definitely benefited Hero Society, and, and like, society in general, in such a fashionable or either effective way. Me, darling. Oh, you got treated bad. Oh, Wolf Ram. I remember this guy. Wolf Ram. David Shield, a genius that lives up to his reputation. I can tell my quirk is growing more powerful. It feels amazing. I'm never taking this taking this off now I know the best way to raise the price of my device and I can and charge it whenever I want to use the old world number one here oh okay what's your part metal manipulation muscle augmentation so he has Metal augmentation. Wolfram allows him uh, to freely shape and manipulate metal material upon physical contact. The surface can be used for offensive and defensive purposes such as creating flexible pillars, crushing targets, tall and sturdy walls to defend himself against traps and his opponents in. Give it an... Okay, so the second one was given by one for all, so like, screw that. We're gonna go with the first one, it's just natural one. Alright, so metal augmentation. Uh not gonna lie. Do you know how handy that would be? Just give him an entire big giant metal slab, and he could probably make that into the most firm and sturdy submarine of all time. Heck! Possibly even make an entire spaceship's body just outside core from an entire giant block of steel. Okay, this guy has the potential of making some of the greatest scientific devices, such like cars, planes, submarines. Spaceships, even? The potential is endless. This is definitely falls on society and how he feels like this guy's definitely got a pride ego. Like, he had, he's got some uh, an ego that he wants to prove himself. A people with a. Uh, with. Like a personality like his that wants to prove uh, himself to anybody or everybody has a fractured ego due to their upbringing. This definitely falls on to his parents probably telling him like, you know, he's worthless, he'll never be worth anything, kind of like me in that regard. Like my dreams are useless, no way I'm ever going to benefit anyone. This definitely goes to someone's upbringing of a lack there of proper, like, care and, like, a nurturing nature and a positive overall experience of a, a, uh, just proper upbringing. My upbringing has always been kind of unstable and closed off. Sure, it was like fun and spoiled, but I was I was kept from like from growing up as a person, and I can kind of uh, relate to Wolf to Fram a bit with this because like oh, since like I was kept in a nurturing environment, even though I was told like. Everything I do had the possibility of doing something, 
but was never given, like, proper, like, obviously, um, tools for the dream, or even that of the future of it. I can definitely see where his personality comes from, where he has something to prove. Um, this definitely brings up to a fractured childhood uh, with Wolfman. Holy crud. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. But his quirk has the potential of making some of the greatest in innovations of all time. LA villains. Yeah, I can definitely see the sludge villain here or definitely being a great even overall help in the waste industry, right? Like dealing with like waste like disposal. Oh, let's go over Stain, then we'll go over Gentle Criminal. Uh, Stain. All the stains on this man's hands. Yeah, I can definitely see this individual, like, his work. Blood Quirk Turtle. So, I can definitely see Blood Turtle being that of a form of law enforcement. If he would have been taught to be an officer, imagine the lives he could have saved as a police officer with the quirk Blood Quirk Curdle. Blood Curdle allows him to restrain someone. And if he became an officer in the police enforcement, definitely overall his quirk could have been and used for like easy arrest, like no joke, no scam. He could have like arrest so many villains with this quirk, but the quirk was taken by one for all. But this guy has a problem with heroes society. He definitely saw the problems with Hero Society and how it tre treated people. More than likely, he was someone that can would have been an officer uh, that was a voice for the voiceless, you know? While being an officer, being a voice for the voiceless on, like, how bad Hero Society would have been treated. I mean, his quirk had such potential as a law enforcement officer. Ah, he's a criminal. One of my favorite criminals of My Hero Academia. Costume, civilian. Dandro Tobuta, aka Digital Criminal. Digital Criminal is. Definitely a gentle criminal, holy crud. I actually really liked his character. I carve my name in history for future generations, as so going on towards someone else. I will give a moment of thought to the way I live to inspire to A dream no longer of mine alone. Today marks my first step towards a true thing. My dream of terrifying indeed if your words could ever move me to obtain of course yes you are a new age i assume you can come again but i Now this is a man that's good with words. Last appearance, age 41 to 40. E. E. Yeah, yeah, prime dad material right here. 
I definitely see him obviously graying his hair on purpose. So, elasticity, right? So, he is able to turn anything into rubber. Air, like steel, all this. I can definitely see Gentle Criminal's work being used for stunts, like stunt devil stunts, or even like, heck, just entertainment value. Like, if he became a professional stunt devil, I can definitely see this guy being one of the greatest movie actors or stunt devil movie actors of all time. Of course, he wanted to be a hero, but because of his quirk being the way it was and how he first accepted it, is... Due to his lack of proper, like... I want to gently put it there of mindset. His wits are at its lowest, right? So it means he's not very bright. I can definitely see if a movie actor agency would be like, Hey, we need a stunt devil, right? We heard you had a quirk that could turn anything into rubber. You could be one of the greatest stunt devils and actors in all of history. And he'd be like, really? How, like, how so? You could possibly be the richest stunt devil and action actor the world has ever seen. You could be infamous. And right then and there, this guy would have been set for life. Holy fucking shit. He had the potential of becoming the world's greatest stunt devil slash action actor. Ah, LeGrava. Or Maname Abia. Abia Maname. Or LeGrava. Or Rabrava. Interesting. Work. Uh, ooh, who doesn't like a couple? Uh, who doesn't like love? Mama's quirk allows her to bestow power boost to a person who she loves the most, telling how uh, receptive and how much they love she loves them. The amount of power her 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 love receives increases with the intensity of her love. Monoma can activate her quirk once per day, and power boost for the last for a, a limited uh, last for a limited time. Holy crap, Norman! Oh, I can definitely see her being a support hero. Like, imagine this, like all my right? If you would if like LaBrava here would have been like a student of All Might and All Might would be fighting like all for one uh, back in his early days and LaBrava was around and she loved the hell out of All Might she would be like an All Might fangirl just love 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 All Might I can see her power giving All Might the overall power boost to finally put down all for one holy fucking shit this little lady could have given all the heroes in My Hero Academia like such a power boost that they could have done anything and everything they ever wanted to stay like save the day. I bet it has a serious, serious like uh, repercussions though. Like the person could definitely overall be seriously drained of the powers. But LaBrava! Oh, she's 21! Oh, wow, she's that small. She's 21. That's the parents, age 30. Thirty years old. She's definitely a midget. 
sorry everyone, I didn't mean to point that out so bluntly. Um, that's fun size. She's fun size, holy hell. She's the definition of fun size! <laughs> now she's taking on the go fun size, let's freaking go! Woo! 30 years old! Oh, her husband is gentle criminal. Family gentle husband. So she's married. She needs to be part of the police force. Oh, she's good with computers as well. Oh, that's a bonus. Oh, wow. Wow, La Brava. Wow, you are the definition of fun size. This is definitely a case of good, like, the best things come in small packages. So, this was my stream today, going over My Hero Academia. And the most misunderstood quirks. The highest potential. I have been... Commander Devin Reinhardt. Thank you for joining me. Maybe overall, we'll do another one of these My Hero Academia streams. Uh, covering that of, like... Other characters with the most misunderstood quirks with the highest overall, with the greatest potential for hero society, or society in general. Now, I think I'm going to have this to be a series for a while, as we're going to start off with My Hero Academia, but then we're going to move on to... X-Men! As the series play hand in hand with each other with their powers and origins. Like, I don't know what to tell y'all other than the truth right now. My Hero Academia's characters, like, a lot of them have the potential of having the greatest quirks of all time to benefit modern society. If they would have just been and properly taken care of and influenced in the right mannerisms, I've been commended deep and thank, and obviously myself, for my new screen background, the Hologram Tron. The Hologram Tron is a, a new feature for the channel where this white hologram board, obviously is available for internet usage or gaming. Until next time, I've been your beloved. And maybe next week we'll go over more misunderstood quirks that can benefit society. My Hero Academia. If y'all want this to be an annual thing, once a week, let me know on Twitter slash X, and when this hits YouTube, say something in the comments. Put down in the comments. Uh, put down the hashtag in the comments. Need more quirks. Hashtag need more quirks and we'll make this a series. If I get 10 hashtags of need more quirks, this will be a series for a while on my live streams. Thank you so much. I've been Commander D and I will see you on the next world. Adios! My